Hello everyone, welcome to Developers Checkpoint. In this video, we are going to install Kafka using Docker. So we are going to run our Docker container and we will be installing Kafka inside that. So how we are going to do this? So firstly, we are going to create a Docker Compose file. From that Docker Compose, we are going to run two services. One is Zookeeper and the other one is Kafka. We are going to create a producer and a subscriber. We will see our demo by pushing messages from publisher to Kafka and consuming the messages from the Kafka from our subscriber. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. So I'm on the terminal of my Mac machine. So firstly, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a Docker Compose file. So I have a Docker Compose file. Let's have a look at the content of this. So we are going to create two services. One is the Zookeeper service that is running the image of this thing and exposing the port to 181. The other service will be Kafka service and that will be exposing the port 9092. And this Kafka service will be using the Zookeeper service. We are providing the URL of the Zookeeper service to the environment variables of the Kafka service. So I'm going to run the Docker Compose file, docker-compose app. You can also run the Docker Compose file in the background using the hyphen D flag. So what is happening here? Let's have a look at the content. So we are going to start an instance of Zookeeper and Kafka will create to that instance of Zookeeper. So Kafka used to store the information related to the partitions inside the Zookeeper. So we are having our instance of Kafka and Zookeeper running here. So let's open a new terminal. So here let's run Docker PS. So we can see that we have an instance of Zookeeper as well as an instance of Kafka running. So let's move inside the Kafka container. So I will use docker exec hyphen it the name of the container and sh command. Okay, so we are inside the container that is running Kafka. So we are inside our Kafka container. So firstly, let's have a look at the executables. So executables will be available as opt Kafka. Here inside the Kafka where we are having a version number and inside that the bin folder. So here we can see that we are having a lot of executables here. So firstly, what I'm going to do, I am going to create a Kafka topic. So I will run this command. So we are going to create a Kafka topic. We are providing the address of the zookeeper here. Zookeeper is used by Kafka to store the information about various partitions. We are providing the replication factors and the partitions as one. And the name of the topic is quick start. Okay, so we have received the message that the topic named quick start has been created inside the Kafka. So let's create the producer and consumer of this. So I will have the two terminals here. Okay, so I have one terminal on the left and the other terminal on the right. I will create a publisher here and the subscriber on this. So firstly, let's see the Docker containers. This is the Docker container running Kafka. We will move inside this Docker container. We are going to do the same for the other terminal. We are going to move inside the folder slash opt Kafka underscore to something like that bin. And we are going to move to the same folder in the next terminal. Here on the left terminal, I am going to run the producer. Okay, so we are going to run a console producer. The name of the topic is quick start and have provided the URL of the bootstrap server. Okay, so let's press enter here. While on the other terminal, we are going to execute Kafka console consumer and the name of the topic is quick start and providing the URL of the bootstrap server. So we have received this notation on the producer side. So we can write our commands that we want to push inside a Kafka. Okay, so let's write ABC. The command ABC has been pushed from the producer. So this will be reflected here on the consumer. And if we write anything on the left hand side, those things will be reflected on the right hand side. Okay, so the flow is the producer is pushing messages inside the Kafka and the consumer is consuming messages from the Kafka. So guys, that is for the video. If you like the content, please hit the subscribe button and like the video. Thank you for your time and goodbye.